Hello there, Cancer. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of September 7th through the 13th. Um, let's see what you guys have coming up for Monday, Cancer, is you have the Ace of Coins. This is an awesome card. This just means that you're receiving some kind of gift, either financial or material goods, on Monday. This can be as simple as somebody wanting to take you out for a meal or... Um, giving you a bag of um, cutely decorated cookies, or it could be a bigger gift than that. I've had it come up for somebody who won $4,000 on the lottery. Um, so any kind of gift um, you should be open to, this card can indicate it. So like I said, it can be anything really little up to something really great big. But I see you getting some kind of gift on Monday Cancers. Now on Tuesday... We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. This is actually another really good card. I'd love to see this card in reverse. Now, the Nine of Swords just says that you did have a situation in your life, Cancer, and you're a water sign, so this is pretty easy to see how this could happen because um, you're all about feelings. And so you had a situation in your life that you were feeling pretty worried or uptight about. Um, you just didn't see how maybe things were going to work out okay. And so um, when the Nine of Swords comes in in reverse, what that tells me is that on Tuesday something happens that changes that situation so that you're not so worried and upset about it. You're not obsessing about it. You're not losing sleep about it anymore. So either something has happened with that situation to where something has changed in the situation itself or the other thing that can be going on is that you've actually done some spiritual or some emotional or some psychological healing for yourself so that whatever was tripping you up about this situation is no longer triggering you and so now you can just kind of let it go and just let it be whatever it's going to be. Either way, it's a really good thing to be able to get off of that stress situation. It's, be, it's really good to be able to come into some calmness. So Wednesday, Cancers, you have the Nine of Cups in Reverse. Nine of Cups in Reverse is... Um, it means something a little different to me than most people. If you look closely at this card, actually I'm going to turn it right side up so it's a little easier to process for the brain when it's right side up, I think. But you can see that when you look closely at this card, we've got all these glasses. And then we've got two little glasses that look like shot glasses in there, and <laughs> just mixed in. And so whenever I see this card, what I think about is drinking games or drinking and it's pretty much come to mean that for me in my readings. Now, we didn't have this card for you come up right side up. We had it come in upside down, which means that somebody is getting kind of tired of drinking. So this is, when I see this card coming upside down, this is when I picture people taking uh, bottles of alcohol and pouring them down the drain, <laughs> out on the grass, just pouring them out without consuming them. So, Cancers, that looks to me like either you or somebody in your life is deciding on Wednesday, you know what, that's enough. I'm done with the drinking. Now, this doesn't always have to do with drinking either. Sometimes this card talks about other addictions as well, but it's getting rid of those things that um, somebody's been addicted to, whether it's yourself or somebody else. And um, this is not. Okay, so say, for example, that... Um, that you're married to somebody who has an addiction problem. Let's just say, for example, that they drink a lot because that's kind of what shows up on the card. And let's say that you decide you're tired of them drinking and you pour their drink out. That's not what this card is talking about. <laughs> Don't get any ideas from this card about you pouring out their drink. <laughs> that's not what this is saying. This is talking about them getting tired of their addiction, whatever it is, and them getting rid of the temptation. Now, um, for those of us who have been around this type of situation for a while, we also know that uh, people can get really tired of drinking or whatever their addiction is, and then they can um, end up really trying to get away from it, but still falling back in. So the important thing here is to realize, you know, whether this is you or whether this is somebody else, if they're pouring out their drinks or getting rid of their, their substance of choice, I guess would be a way to say it, that, that they might need some help to keep away from that stuff. Um, and so this is a good time 
I'm not saying so much for you to help them or for you to try to help yourself so much as I'm saying this would be a good time to find some resources for um, organizations that could help or maybe even facilities that could help this person to um, go ahead and, and move forward with their decision here. Um, because whenever somebody is addicted, it's it's one thing to make the decision. It's another thing to follow through with the decision. So as much help as you can possibly get for that person um, is a good thing. All right, so that's kind of a soapbox for me because I've had addictions, uh, people that are addicted to stuff around me in my life for pretty much all my life. So I hope you guys will forgive me for going on and on about that. Um, let's see. So Thursday... What we have, Cancers, is we have the King of Coins showing up. The King of Coins is a very generous man. He's somebody who has uh, plenty of resources. He's pretty comfortable in his life. And he likes to um, share his resources. Um, when you have the King of Coins coming in, this is not somebody who's arrogant or like a rub it in your nose type of person. This is somebody who just, just has a lot and... Um, feels very grateful and blessed to have a lot and likes to be able to share. He actually enjoys being able to share. So when you have somebody like that coming in, that looks like on Thursday, that's somebody that is um, going to be wanting to share some things with you. So um, for some of you, he's actually just going to be wanting to share some knowledge with you about, um, for some of you, about how to create resources in your own life. For some of you, this person is going to be wanting to take you out for a meal. For some of you, this person is going to want to share actual resources with you. Um, I'm actually hearing that for some of you, this person may have some ideas about how the two of you can work together and might want to bring you into his life as maybe not exactly a partner, but somebody who can really help him with something. And he's being the generous person that he is. He is um, willing to um, compensate you quite fairly for whatever it is he's thinking he might like to bring you into his life to help him with. Okay, so King of Coins, um, just really coming in and showing up on Thursday and having some ideas about ways to help you um, can be something little, like just buying you a meal. can also be something big, like giving you ideas about how you can really help yourself to create more income. Friday, we have the Five of Swords showing up. For most of you, this feels like a work situation. There is a significant amount of you, though, that this is family, like 20 to 30 percent of you. This is a family situation. Five of Swords is just talking about conflict, talking about competition, um, being in a competitive situation that is um, stressful, basically. <laughs> competition can be very stressful. I don't see this as something that is... Um, something that actually feels good on Friday to go through. However, what I'm picking up is that this is something that in the long run makes some situations better. It feels to me like there's some communication that comes out of this competitive situation that maybe would not have been sparked without it. And as this communication comes out, you start to understand some of the people around you and where they're coming from better and vice versa. They start to understand you better. And I really feel like this competitive situation kind of helps get you guys on the same page. It's kind of an interesting way for that to end up because I don't see that typically off of this card, but that's what's actually coming in for you guys, Cancer. So that's a really good, it's a good thing. It's uncomfortable and stressful, but it's a good thing in the end. So awesome. Good for you. Now, um, on Saturday, Cancer is what you have showing up as the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is going to be somebody who um, you look up to, somebody that you can go to for advice. This is somebody who is rock solid, who is stable. Like when you look at their lives, they've kind of got their stuff together. And so when you look at their life, you're kind of thinking a little bit of, you know, well, I wish I had my stuff together as well as this person. I feel like you're going to be going to advice to this person on Saturday. So you're going to be going to them to get some advice. Um, and this person is going to be able to help you with some advice. I'm feeling like... Um, they're going to give you, uh, they're not exactly going to answer you in riddles, but they are going to give you just enough information to kind of help you think things through for yourself. So I don't feel like they're going to give you exactly the answers that you're looking for, 
but they're going to give you a different perspective on things so that you can kind of figure them out on your own. And this could even also be um, somebody coming to somebody for a reading. That sounds very much like the type of advice that might come out of a reading. Uh, because a lot of times spirit doesn't like to tell you, oh, do this or do that. But spirit does like to give insight on this is what happens if you do this. And this is what happens if you do that. So it sounds very much like a reading to me. But it also could be just coming to somebody that you look up to and getting some advice from them. Now, on Sunday, what we have coming up here is we have the Fool. And the Fool is actually my very favorite card in the whole deck. The Fool is the beginning card. It's the zero card. It's the beginning of a journey. And the Fool talks about making a leap of faith. So when I see the Fool card, this is telling me, Cancers, that on Sunday there's something that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know how to handle. You know what you should do in this situation. Um, but what you know is not necessarily logical. So it's really hard to justify it, you know, when you're thinking it through. And it's also hard to tell your friends about this because it's they can't really justify it either. So it's hard to go to them and, and get support for this. So this is truly the leap of faith where you're really kind of isolated. You're the one out there taking the step, the step of faith. And so it really is counting on spirit. Just saying, you know, I know you're the one that gave me this knowing that I have, that this is the way I should handle this. And so I'm going to honor you and I'm going to handle it this way. And um, when we do that, it's kind of interesting because there's this reciprocal thing. When we honor spirit by following that inner knowing that he or she gives us, however you want to call spirit. Some people call spirit an it. I think that's too impersonal. Anyway, that's all on this aside here. But as you honor spirit by following this knowing that spirit gives you, what happens is there's this reciprocal thing of, of where spirit says, hey, look, look, there's a human <laughs> that is listening to us, that is paying attention. Look at that. They're tuned in. Oh, my gosh. And then what happens is they honor you back. So spirit honors you back when you honor spirit. And it becomes this reciprocal thing where it just builds on itself and builds on itself. That's why it's the beginning of the journey. Because there's so much more that comes after that first initial leap of faith. If you stay tuned in and keep that faith strong, um, you can end up in places that you never could have dreamed that you would end up in before. Just because you're honoring spirit and spirit just comes back and honors you back. Spirit basically has your back as you honor spirit. So that's an awesome way to have their Sunday go. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Thank you so much, Cancers, for stopping by to watch your weekly forecast. I appreciate all your support, all your likes, all your shares, all your subscriptions, all of you who have had a reading with me and all of you who will have a reading with me. Thank you all so much. I do appreciate your support incredibly. So everybody have a fantastic week. I will see you back here next time. Peace out.